Hi, I'm Rob Pelk, founder of AdvantageLumber.com, and today we're at our Florida Sawmill where we produce most of our exotic decking hardwood line. So we've added Genuine Teak to that lineup. It's got some amazing properties we're gonna walk you through. And this load is also FSC certified and it's plantation grown, so it doesn't get any better than that. So the Latin botanical name of our teak is Tectona grandis. And if you're not really good with Latin, what that means to us and woodworkers and everybody around the world is it's the same species as Burmese teak. The, the only difference is we gathered the seeds from Burma and India of the biggest, nicest growing trees and planted them in farms around the world. Farmed them in rolls like broccoli or any other vegetable. So this truly is the most eco-friendly decking option available and it's totally sustainable. So traditionally, teak is grown in India and neighboring Burma, which is now Miramar, and in other parts of Asia. Teak is now planted worldwide throughout Mexico to Panama, through Brazil, Colombia, and many other Caribbean countries. It's also grown heavily in Tanzania and throughout Africa. So it's pretty much planted worldwide as a plantation species now. So one single teak leaf is a foot wide, two feet long. So these teak trees are big energy absorbing machines and that allows the teak tree to grow to over 130 foot tall and eight foot in diameter. Now the trees we're cutting are not that big. They're grown on a plantation between 20 and 60 years old. And that allows it to be a totally renewable resource. And it also gives it enough time for the teak to develop the natural oils that give it its natural termite and weather resistance. So this load of teak decking is one by six. So that means it's finished at three quarter thick by five and a half inches wide. And all the edges are eased over, rounded over nicely as deck boards. So much of our plantation teak comes five to eight foot long and even in odd lengths. And customers typically frame their decks with pressure treated and then cover the deck with our nice teak on the tops and skirts and the sides. So it will work if you have joists that are framed on 16 inch centers, but I prefer to suggest that you buy a few extra pressure treated joists which is the cheaper component, and then frame the deck on 12 inch centers. That way you don't have any waste when you're cutting five to eight foot long deck boards. It also gives you a much stronger deck when you have those joists framed on 12 inch centers. And the pressure treated joist is the cheaper part of the equation, so it only makes sense. You wanna build the nicest, strongest, best deck available. So you can buy these deck boards and use them like they are, face screw the deck boards down, or we can mill the edges for the edge mount hidden fasteners, such as the deckwise EPA clips. We can also tongue and groove it for porch decking, or we can put a V-groove TNG on there for ceilings and soffits, or we can also shiplap the edges so you can use it for siding projects. So it's a very versatile product. So you'll notice the heartwood is a light golden brown color on teak, and a limited amount of sapwood from the outer edge of the tree you'll see is a pale cream color. Occasionally there's a black streak, but that will fade when exposed to the sun. If you oil the deck boards with the DeckWise Ipe oil, it helps preserve the natural color of the teak. Now, if you do let the teak deck go gray, like you'll see sometimes on a boat, you can use the DeckWise cleaner to bring back that color and then apply the oil when that's dry. Our teak is used for decking, siding, fencing, and many outdoor furniture, flooring, and even boat building, of course. So it's highly stable, durable, and naturally resistant to water, mildew, and algae. This is part of the reason it's been used for over 2,000 years for boat building projects. In fact, when Jesus was a young carpenter, it was one of his favorite woods to work with. Now I have no idea if that's actually true, but it is one of my favorite woods to work with. And when I do meet them, I'll confirm and get back to you. But it's entirely possible. Teak is easy to work with. It cuts easily with a standard chop saw and it can be drilled with using standard drill bits. So you don't have to buy anything special to work with teak on your next decking project. The only drawback when working with teak is when you're gluing the wood, it has a high oil content and that's natural to the wood. So some glues don't like to bond to teak. So if you do have to glue teak wood for a woodworking project, you wanna be sure to use a polyurethane based glue or even epoxy for projects that do require gluing. In a decking project, you're really not gonna to have to glue anything. Occasionally on a stair tread, you might wanna glue a teak plug to cover a screw hole, but on the deck surface, you're probably gonna use the deckwise hidden fastener. So there's no other gluing projects involved unless you're building an Andorondack chair or indoor furniture project with teak. So let's take a look at our teak deck tiles. These are a great way if you wanna cover a concrete patio that's cracked up, doesn't look so beautiful anymore, or you have a flat roof with a rubber roof that you wanna cover up and make it a, a useful walkout patio. So these are some of the deck tiles that have been oiled once you apply that deck wise oil. 
like we talked about putting on the deck boards. But we're gonna ship them to you unfinished and then we sell you gallons of oil to apply to them. And you'll see they're screwed in with stainless steel screws in the backboards. And we also have holes drilled into the corner here. And that hole is for these deckwise deck tile connectors. They kind of pop in there with an automotive Christmas tree fastener. And this is something you can easily do yourself. And what this spacer does is it connects all the deck tiles together and it also has spacers on there that give you consistent spacing between each other. And it allows the water to flow underneath these so the tile's not sitting directly in the water on top of the concrete or on top of the flat roof. And these are one of the favorite products that we sell. And they kind of go down like Legos. You can take the next tile and you can do the grain direction on these tiles going the same direction or I like to alternate them like this and it pops down just like that. And you would continue across the whole room like that or across the whole rooftop. We even have pedestals that you can elevate the teak deck tiles onto. If you have a sloped roof and wanna make a flat area where you can enjoy a, a table or a hot tub or a, a sitting area. We also have teak for woodworkers. That's if you're gonna build an Andorodnik chair or a bench or a, a desk or a table. And we sell this in the rough, but this piece has been surfaced. We can also run it through the sanding machine or give you one straight edge. Just give us a call and tell us what you need done to it. And we can ship that direct to your home or job site worldwide. So you see we have a bunch of that in the rough. It's ready to be surfaced to your specifications. We also have two inch thick teak. Uh, we have a bunch of that here. This is a piece that's been surfaced. Again, we stock it in the rough until you tell us what you need. And it can be milled to any thickness you want and we can surface it, sand it, give you one straight edge again. Or we can just sell it to you rough and you can play in your own shop with it. So we have teak for deck building, we have teak for woodworkers, but we also have a lot more teak coming in. We've made a huge investment in plantation teak. Uh, we think it's a, a really good thing for the environment. It's 100% sustainable. Uh, it's grown on farms. It's really good durability, it's really good qualities to the teak. But we also have a whole world of other woods out there. I mean, we have a hundred different species. We're running two sawmills here in our Florida mill. Uh, we're running a couple different vacuum kilns. Company-wide, we have 13 kilns. Uh, we have molders and millwork facilities at each one of our locations in the U.S., in New York, California, North Carolina, as well as our Florida where we're at today. And we also have a large mill in Brazil uh, with 500,000 board feet of kiln space, 11 kilns that we run there, and also all the machinery needed to mill decking and lumber products. So uh, we have a million board feet or more on the water on ships coming inbound to our facilities at any given time. And we have millions of board feet of exotic and domestic woods in stock in our US location. So go to our website, advantagelumber.com, or give us a call, or even stop in and take a tour. So there's a lot of guys out there that just broker and trade lumber. They don't actually ever see it. Uh, our hands are on this stuff. We're getting the slivers so you don't have to. I mean, we're milling this stuff and shipping it direct to you. So give us a call or like I said, stop in. We'd love to give you a tour.